Hello, um, today guys I'm going to show you how to make iPod Touch icons using Adobe Fireworks CS3. Now it's a very simple process as most creators may know or if you're just beginning and you want to get interested in this adventurous thing. Okay, anyway, let's go. First you want to make a image. Well, you start off with a fresh image, which we're starting from scratch. That is 60 by 60. So you go to File, New, hold on guys why it loads up. Okay, make sure it's six, width is 60, height is 60, it's set to transparent. This right here, pixel, pixel, inch and all that, yeah. Doesn't matter about the color really, but leave it white. Okay, click OK. Let it load. Computer's running kind of slow. Okay, as you can see right here, I have my 60 by 60 image pan panel. Well, of course, we can't just make an icon with this. So, what you want to do is go over here to your taskbar, click on vector, where it says vector. You see the little triangle, the rectangle tool. Now, if you right click and no, no, not, not right click, if you click it and hold down, it brings up a list of other different ways you can make shapes. What we're looking for now is the rounded rectangle. Click on that and now the rounded rectangle has been selected. What you want to do is align the pointer exactly at the edges so that it be completely even. Hold on guys, something's going wrong here. Uh, Okay, click on that tool, make sure you select it. And right from the tip top at the edge, you want to just drag it on over. About right there, because it's the size of your image. Note, it may be black or whatever color you have pre selected right here. But in this case, it's black. So now, let's do a simple. Since it's black right there, we exited canvas mode. Didn't even go into canvas, but why am I saying that? You want to click on well, this is basically your basic app. So go over here, you have different things you can choose from. Uh, properties. Hmm. Click on your brush tool in the bitmap section. And just like basically. Um, choose a color from over here in your color section. Uh, I'm gonna use blue in this case for this tutorial. Um, and just like mess around with it, like never know what may come out of it. Cool little app. No, probably use this for the game or something. And click, and when you're done with this, done editing it any way you want to. Just simply click the little exit bitmap, um, red, the little X right here. Click on that, and it takes you out of bitmap mode. So what you can do now, since you've already edited that, is go into your assist on your right-hand side, and just like check out these little panels of different, um, how you say, styles you would like the image to be. In this case, I'm going to use the more diamondish looking one mm, let it load it's loading so I think it is okay I'm gonna turn my diamonds to that color 
what I really was hoping for is the whole thing appearing to be that one color. I'm just doing a little editing after you click on that. That's your base app. So what you can do or what you probably want would want to do like hmm, go to right here your vector section to text tool. Right here at the bottom you can like I don't know probably write a name or something. In this case I'm gonna change the front color also to the, that bluish color chosen earlier. Let's say I'm just gonna use this as a hmm, clock. This would be a nice clock app. Don't know how, but it just would. There we go. Clock app's finished. Deselect your no, never mind that. Hit the little um assist change the clock to look like that. And now about moving. I haven't really fully understood if you were able to move it. I don't think you are, so yeah, let me see if I can try something real quick. Hold shift. No. That's your basis right there. And that's just a little basic app as of right there. Now, what you want to do, go all the way to the top in your uh, left-hand corner. File. Save as. I'll have to make a part two of this video of how to SSH this and other theme pieces into your iPod Touch first gen, second gen. No, SSH is really easy, guys. I mean, it's not that hard. Okay, when you get right here, where you want to save it, I just rename it to um Icon. No, no, no. Don't save it as icon. Save it as whatever you want the icon to be when you upload it, when you SSH it into your iPod. So that's, I'm just going to put it as clock, uppercase C, lowercase L-O-C-K. It has to be with uppercase C, guys, it, or else it would not work. Make sure it's save as type is PNG. Save as in desktop and click save. Okay. Now that that's been saved, you can lower down um, fireworks. As you see, it's right here on your desktop. Right here. Right on your desktop. And like, if you need any, like, right here. See, I already have an icons folder which contained a which contains previ previously made icons I believe I've made earlier to show you guys a couple of them get this thing to load up real quick well actually one I made this it's kinda like the I am rich app like just a knockoff version of the rich I just call it rich you know pretty nice app I use it okay guys um that's how you make an app. Of course, I'll get into a more detailed version, but as you probably may know, this is my first video. So, um, get a little bit more practice, but this is the basis how you do it. Thank you guys, and, um, happy editing. Vatum King, signing out.